Well, hello, friends and followers. My Drake obsession continues. I finally got this Drake TR4C back together. I still don't know if this thing transmits, but it receives. So anyway, yeah, I gave it a uh, extensive cleaning. I cleaned all the knobs, took the front panel off, tightened all the screws in there, cleaned all the switches, cleaned all the waiver switches. Lots of work. And the hardest thing about this whole rig was taking apart this uh, PTO and rebuilding it. So I wouldn't say rebuild it. I just took it apart and got all the oil out of it. But somebody had lubricated nylon gears, made them expand, they were binding. This thing still doesn't track great. It, it tracks accurately, but I don't like how this thing spins. It just seems like it's hokey, but oh well. It's my first real TR4C. I think the RF sections are better. I think there's more care and due attention in building this radio than the others, than the TR, maybe the, uh, the TR4. It seems like it's more neatly wired, but I, I sure don't like these plastic nylon gears in here. They sure are hokey. Anyway, and the spinning dial is kind of cool, but yeah, it seems like it's added complexity. So I finally got these dials not to hit each other. Somebody had this little window, the, the little Lexar window here was installed inside and they put felt on the inside of the window so the um, wheels would hit that felt and it pretty much wore a, uh, kind of wore a little groove on the top of this thing as you can see if you look closely but yeah, with everything all put together you don't see it. It looks pretty nice so all cleaned up. And ready to go. So here's 80 meters in the Las Vegas area. There were some guys yapping on here. Now there's always some people in here on 80 meters yapping at night. So I kind of use these guys as a as a test signal when I'm trying different radios here. I'll I'll see how good I can receive them. So I still got to fix the transmit on this thing. It's uh, final. The back final is pretty much blown. I only have that final in there. It's shorted. I have the B plus. The B plus is off all the finals. So the top cap is off them all. I just had them in there. You need the finals in this thing installed with the heaters running. So the uh, six volt tubes will be running in this thing. So it has 12 volt tubes that are wide in parallel and then it has these three 6 volt tubes that are basically in parallel with uh, the rest of the tubes in parallel and those are in series so it's a really wild uh, it's a wild tube type arrangement. So they did change a little VFO here, the PTO. It's uh, It's got the buffer transistor now on a board on the bottom of the uh, rig so that's kind of cool and it looks like they made a change in the PTO as far as the components are different, they seem smaller. Maybe it's a, a better PTO, I'm not sure though. It doesn't seem any more stable or, or unstable than the uh, TR4. So yeah, I gave this thing a pretty good cleaning, the best I could do. This thing came out pretty well. It, it had a lot of dust and stuff and some grime, but uh, it's probably the best radio I have as far as looking good. This and the other TX4C. These are these are good looking radios. I'm really happy with these. I'm happy with how they came out. I'm proud to own one. It looks nice. It looks clean. There's some rusts just still to get rid of, as you can see there, and some other problems. But yeah, considering all the work I put into it, it takes about two days to really get this thing at least receiving and get it looking nice. About two days of full work, scrubbing and Q-tips and all that stuff, and soaking it, getting all the crap off of it. And I took all that apart back there too and cleaned the finals there. I, I did give this thing a quick tune, but I gotta now go through the transmit section to make sure it's working. And then it's a done radio, I suppose. So happy with how it turned out. I don't think I'll do any more drakes. I think if I pick up a, um, uh, a TR, oh, no, 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 a, a, what's it called? A TX4C receiver. Is that correct? No, no, an R4C receiver, that's what it's called, an R4C. I'll grab one of those, I think if I can find one cheap, yeah, or, or find a nice one, but that's it. That's going to complete my Drake collection, and I don't think I'm going to do any more Drakes. 
for a long time. I think these will just get piled up somewhere. If I ever move to a place with an antenna, I'll fire them up and, and see how they transmit. So, But it's been fun. It's been fun just to use my hands and get things done. So, yep, this thing works pretty good now. Yeah, this guy is from 80 meters. So, how does this thing track? If I turn the volume down, maybe you can hear how it, how it sounds. It's a little grindy, but it works. And it, I can really buzz through this thing fast. And it also tracks the uh, calibrator pretty good, so. Here, I'll show you how that works. Go to calibrate mode here. And let's see how it... Okay, there's one right there. That's right on the money. On the money. Wow. So I'm happy how it turned out. At least it's accurate, right? Yeah, it's pretty darn good. A little off there. So I was roughhousing this PTO, trying to get it fixed. I might have bumped something. It's it's only a KC off at the high end, so I think that's what the tolerance was. So it's within spec. Anyway, I can really fly this thing down now. It doesn't break or anything. Cause it's, grinds a little bit, but you can really abuse it and it takes it, so I'm happy with that. Happy with the abuse it can take. I mean, I'll never tune it like this, but just showing you that it works. Doesn't seem to foul up, so anyway, so that's that. So what's on the band here? 80 meters, go off calibrate. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, pick the receiver, 80 meters. What do we got going on here? We should hear some uh, of that new mode right here. Those FT5s or something, what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but yeah, there's, they're, they're there. A bit. There's one struggling on them. All right, what else can you hear? Peek it. This is why the TR7 is kind of nice because you don't have to be playing around with, with peeking it. The front end. All right, so those guys were hanging. They're still talking. But that's how accurate this thing is. I mean, you can say they're right on like, uh, I think, what is it, 3905 or something. It's pretty accurate, so. It's pretty nice. All right, let's try some 40 meters action here. Here we go, click, peek it, top of the band here, we'll head down, let's see, go to the very top, religious station, this is preaching station, I have no bandwidth for this guy, so anyway, he needs about eight KCs, I think. Let's uh, go back to side band here. Go down the band a bit. Another 
this one station maybe. Here's the other pre station. Not much going on. I heard some guys in LA on here, but they're not around. There was some net on here tonight while I was fixing this thing. All right, well, not real thrilling, right? I'm glad this thing's working. It took a lot of time. I don't really have a lot of time to be doing this, so I probably shouldn't be fixing these at all. Maybe it's a phase I'm going through. All right, well, that's that. How does it calibrate on 40? Let's see how it works on 40. Let's go to calibrate mode here. And well, that's pretty good. I think the zero is kind of messed up though. That's not looking too good. How about this one? Yeah, it looks like I messed up the... Uh, there's somebody loud. Indiana. Okay, you were still no problem, and uh, you have a good evening as well. Uh, Ray's checking out. Uh, that's uh, line 54 there. Checking out K9R and So I thought I had this thing lined up better. Um, I'd like the zero to be in the middle of the 200, so it looks like I screwed that up. I thought I had that right, but maybe not. Oh well, it's close enough for hand grenades, right? I'm gonna wake the whole house up here. I mean, I guess I could try and fix that, but not gonna bother with it for now. Just kind of radioed out here working good enough. Actually, that's not so bad like that. Okay, what about the other bands here? How, how about 20 meters? How does it work? 20 meters. 20 meters from this thing is backwards, so we're at the low part of the band now. And yeah, it works. Okay, so 20 meters. Yeah, that's 14.0 right there. 14 14.0, 14.1, 14.2, 14.3, 14.2, 14.3, 14.4, 14.5, 14.6, 14.7, 14.8, 14.9, 14.10, 14.11, 14.12, 14.13, 14.14, 14.15, 14.16, 14.17, 
Maybe it's a crystal. What about uh, 25? How bad's that one? Let's see. Pink that one, 28.5. So. Yeah, 10, 10. Uh, I should probably calibrate it for 10. That's interesting. So that would be the the 10 master crystal needs to be netted a bit. Yeah. Well, at least the band works. Okay, last band, 29-1. See if that goes. All right, enough racket for tonight. Um, turn this thing off. I guess I could flip it over and we could look at the underside and how it's different from a, uh, a TR4. Get some of this junk out of the way here. I hate to flip it over and break that switch, but we'll just do it easily. How's that? I'm not shocking myself on this thing. Okay. So TR4 Charlie, TR4 C. It's a different animal. So they took part of the uh, PTO and they put they put the buffer board out here, which is cool. There used to be coax coming out of here and going right to the switch, but now they have just plain old wire coming into this guy, and the coax comes out of here and exits there to the uh, switch, to the injection switch. So that's how that works on a TR4C. And it just seems more elegant in here. You can see the boards look a lot better. Like they figured out board 101. Everything looks just more, like it's getting more dense, you know, like the way things get more dense every year. Just more density and greater efficiency, so. You still have the plug for the external BFO. Now there's the filters. They move those from top side to the bottom. And what I don't like is this switch here for the filters is pretty much welded on. <laughs> we soldered on there. And that used to be a, a bad point in the old TR4, but in this one, I guess they cleaned it up. It's reasonable. This switch for me was, was loose and didn't hardly work. It needed a lot of cleaning and it was loose. So I had tightened the bolt up in there. When I had the front panel off, I tightened that nut up right there. So let's make this radio reasonable. And the headphone jack is kind of cool. I like how they recessed it on the TR4C. And the waiver switches look, I don't know, they're just different, different quality or something. It's just different, different kind of radio. It just seems a bit neater. How is it different where the finals are here? Well, they got some insulation on the 600 volt wire. That's kind of different. Looks like the switch in the back's the same. Uh, I gotta clean this thing up. Look how, look how nasty the switch is. I mean, it's got black all over it. I'm afraid even try to run the finals. It'll probably burn a hole in the switch when it fires up, so. Yeah, I'm kind of radioed out. I don't think I'm gonna be doing radios again for a while. Just put these away and forget about them. It does receive. I think I'll put up a video showing different radios receiving, at least. Maybe I'll do that, how they all work differently. Show how they all work, how they receive differently, if they do it all. So anyway, that's that. That's that. Um, yeah, this, so this room was tidy, and now it's kind of gotten to be a mess again. So I'll show you around the room here. So there's a... AC4 power supply there, which I modified and put a kit in to make it work reasonably. There's the R4B I got from a fellow in uh, W, who was he? W1 something, but 
he sold me that receiver, which I quite like. I fixed it up and cleaned it and all that. It didn't need much. Well, actually, it needed the crystal calibrator fixed. So I need to get my tools neatened up here, as you can see, it's a real mess. Grease down there, tools. I've just been like in a frenzy here fixing these crazy radios. I gotta like just get this room put back together and forget it. Little loop antenna there that I really don't use, except for the SDR radio. Little SDR, uh, $30 SDR RTL thingy that is sitting around here somewhere. Uh, where's my SDR thing? I don't see it. Anyway, you can see what a mess this desk is. I've just been... I gotta get this room cleaned up again. No more... No more crazy videos. And what else is going on here? I've had this computer since 2004. It's had various motherboards in it. I should throw it out, but... It does run. So there's the Drake TR4 and it's back. I have a part to fool around it and look at its insides of it. It basically works. I was going to put the screws back in and leave it alone. There's the backs of the uh, radios there. Um, here's the uh, other radio I picked up, which is the... Uh, this radio is in really good condition too. This was a... Uh, a TR... What is it? A TX4C. Or T... Yeah, T4XC. I always get that backwards. This is a good little radio. And the... Uh, same VFO is on this one. It doesn't turn as easy as the one I just fixed. Now I'm noting this one doesn't turn easy at all. It doesn't make much noise though, so I may end up taking this one apart sometime, but not now. And this thing, I've never cleaned it. I just I just found a bad tube in it, replaced the tube. This thing is a clean little radio. I, I, I really... It doesn't need much cleaning even. It's unbelievable. I've never... All the brakes I've bought have been ratty, except for these past two have been really good. The T this TR7 is clean. I'm really happy with that one. And these two are like almost collectible. They're museum quality. They're really nice. But when I first started fixing drakes about three months ago, I bought some really ratty ones. That, I bought them cheap, but they were really ratty. They took a lot of time. So yeah, I got to get back into what I really do for a living and not, not mess up radios anymore. So I think this is going to conclude my my Drake videos for a while. Yeah, it's been fun though. It's been fun getting back into tube radios, electronics and all that stuff. It's been kind of fun. And these are, these are mechanical marvels. I mean, they really put some time into, uh, into making these nice. Let's look at the bottom of this one here. Let's see what's in this guy. Yeah, look how, look how neat and compact this thing is. It's really a marvel. This, yeah, the TX4 T4XC is different than a T4XB. I have a T4XB packed away before I moved here, and it works. That was a real ratty one that I didn't pay much for, and it needed a lot of work, a lot of work. And it's really pitted and ratty and all that, but this one's a gorgeous one. So if I ever get an antenna, if I ever get a ham shack again, maybe I'll put these back on the air and fiddle around with them. I've always wanted... A drink or two or three. I can think. I guess I got like seven of them now. So they're kind of piling up. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. And I, I know I'm rambling. I also got a little vacuum my friend Ray gave me here, which uh, had that for three years now. I, I think that works good. It runs around the room here and picks up stuff. So after this move, I I made this house um, has a big media room, and I use it just for fooling with. Uh, these radios and doing my job. It's like a little office, but I really gotta clean this thing. It's 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 a total scandalous mess in here. It's just heinous. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope your house is cleaner than my house. At least this is like my uh, man cave rumpus room in here. Okay, take care. Have a great day.